When building apps in Acuro's App Studio, you have a large selection of built-in components to use in your projects. However, it's also possible for you to create your own components and then use them in your apps. In this video, I'll give you a very brief overview of how you can create your own custom components and then use them in the page builder. Let's start by creating a new component and call it Greeting. Every component contains a component template, which is where you put the HTML that will be used to render the component itself. The template may also use handlebars, which is a templating language that makes it possible to include loops, conditions, and more in your HTML template. First, let us start with the very basics by making our component consist of one div tag with a background that says hello world. To do this, I'll paste in a little snippet I've already written. Now let's save the component and head over to the home page. To find the component in the components toolbox, hit the refresh button to reload the component list with your new component. Scroll down and you'll find the greeting component. Now we can drag this component out to the page and you'll see our preview app now says hello world. Sweet, we've made our first, yet very simple, custom component. Even if it's nice to be able to add static HTML to your pages, it's much more powerful when we start to use parameters. Therefore, let's go back to our component, open the parameters tab, and add a new parameter called name. Under type, we can choose what type of data we should be able to set this parameter to. We can choose between value, data item, and data collection. In this case, we'll leave it as a value. Under Helper, we'll choose between quite a few different options. Choosing a helper modifies how the input field in the property editor works. For example, we could make the field have a content picker, an icon selector, or a drop down list, but for now, let's just leave it as none. To use the value of the parameter inside our component, we'll need to use a little bit of handlebar code. To simply output the value of our name parameter, we can use double curly brackets around the name of the parameter like this. Now, let's save the component and go back to the home page. Reselect the component and you can now see that the component has the name parameter as a property. If I set the name to Brandon, you can see how the page now updates to say, Hello Brandon. Alright. So using handlebars, we've made it possible to make your own HTML more dynamic by including data. But you can also use conditions. Let's go ahead and head back to our component and add another parameter. This time, I'll call it time of day and choose select as the helper. This helper will turn the property field to a drop down list with the option specified in the helper value field. So let's set this value to morning, comma, night which will make the select box have two alternatives, morning or night. So let's say we'd like to say good morning if the time of day is set to morning, and say sleep tight if it's set to night. Well then we would need to use a bit more advanced handlebars. So I'll type is type of day morning, then the string I will output, good morning, and I'll wrap that up with a slash is. This means that if the value from our argument time of day is equal to morning, then good morning will be outputted. I'll also add another block for night, and I'll go ahead and leave the name output as it is. Now. Let's save the component and go back to the home page to try it out and see if it works. If I switch the drop down to night, we can now see how the component updates automatically to sleep tight in the preview window. This has been a short introduction to building your own custom components and using them in apps in Acuro. Of course, there are a ton of different things you can do when building your own components and the sky is really the limit here. But if you keep grounded in these principles and understand that custom components are all created in the same way, you'll be off to a good start. Of course, in our knowledge base, you can find more details about how to work with handlebars in your components, and we'll probably release some more videos on this topic in the future.